I think it will. Okay, you ready? Yeah. If you make a good cast, it will take. Oh! <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm back on the river today with my friends Santere and Camilla uh, from the Finnish fly fishing team. Uh, they're visiting from Finland at the moment, living in their boat. Uh, we're on a beautiful South Island backcountry river. We've caught a few fish and hopefully we're going to catch some more. Uh, make sure if you're enjoying my videos to subscribe so you can see all my upcoming content and we'll crack right into it. To a little while we've spotted three fish. One there, one there, and these ones are moving around. But Santere's original fish is back, so he's going to, it's deeper, so he's going to try it with the double nymph. We'll give that a go. This fish is about to see my stone fly, and I think it's going to eat it. All right, Santa, did you see it? Yeah, I think if you throw that stone fly, it's going to crush it. Uh, the fish is a little bit more up. Yeah, that, that should be good, I think. That should come over in just a moment. Ah, uh, Santari, try that again. It's a little bit, you see it? It's a bit up a bit. It's up a bit. So the fish is under these white bubbles. I'll tell you when the flies are going over it. So the flies are going over it now. Oh, you got it? Yep. Nice. Fish, to be I think I was looking at another fish. Yeah. Yeah. Big old fish. Good job. Nice. We spotted another fish. Just down in there. I'm going to try it with the nymph rod because the current is really strange yeah. here. Nice! That's a big fish! I kept seeing them occasionally, but I couldn't see them that well, and then I was just casting at all the black shapes. Yeah! Yay! That's a nice fish. Beautiful. Beautiful big fish. 
uh, we thought it might have been slightly bigger, but it's a big like, looks all, looks like a big old fish, but we'll get it back. Awesome. And so there's a fish, right back where the original fish was. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit further across Santuri, it's quite far across. Do you see it now? Look right in front of you, in the water. Uh, that, yeah, you see it? Yeah, Santori sees the fish now. Oh yeah, it sees it. Yep. Oh, that's cool. That was awesome. Oh, they love that fly. It's actually really quite a big fish. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'll go down there for you. Whoa! Really strong one. Nice one. Cool. I've seen a really nice fish in this back eddy. I left the dry fly rod back there, so I'm gonna put a dry dropper on the nymphing rod and sneak down behind this bush when it's not looking and catch it that way. Hopefully. It's very close to shore now. It's in a very good position, so make your cast. Ready? Yep. It's coming! It's coming! It took your flight! Well, Anthony, it feels really heavy. It's a big fish. It's beautiful. Oh no! Try to pull it back here. That was the most beautiful take of today. I saw it as well. It was so nice. Well done! That's a really big fish. What do you think? I think it's a big one. Yeah. In a mouse year it would be 10 for sure, but now it's just it's not so not so fat, but it's beautiful. Nice. Look at the head on it. Yeah, it's huge. Get it back. Hey everyone, just as I'm walking up the river here, I thought it'd be a good time to remind you that if you're interested in any one-on-one -on, -one on the water tuition, coming along to one of my nymphing clinics, or doing any guiding, if you're just visiting New Zealand, uh, you can email me at the link in the description, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I found today talked a really nice one, blind casting in uh, the fast water places. It's a big one, but I think in the, it's still quite slim in the early season. The, the Galanti. 
something and nasty. Beautiful one from the fast water. Well, we've been walking for quite a while. It's been getting more and more high gradient and there's less and less holding water. So all the fish were just in that one big pool. But finally, we found a fish. It's sitting in there and it's about to see my draft light because we think it looks so active it might even come up and eat off the top. If it doesn't, it's going to get a pheasant tail, but let's see. What do you think, Oli, are your odds? On the dry fly? I don't think we'll eat the dry. I think it will. Okay, you ready? Yeah. If you make a good cast, it will take. <laughs> yes! What did I say? <laughs> what did I just say? That was so cool! <laughs> it was so nice take! So, first dry fly take first of the season. season. That was awesome. I waited a little moment for it to turn down. Anyway. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's a nice fish. First drive fly fish of the season. I'm really stoked with that. It's really cool. Look at the size of the head on it. Yeah. I think in a mouse here, this would be a really big fish. But. Probably close to 70 centimeters. We'll get it back. Anthony's just hooked a really nice fish streaming and thing, which seems with the blonde there, which is the big and ugly. <laughs> it's a nice fish too. ugly fly <laughs> but so beautiful fish yeah that's a nice one really. okay I release me now yeah Nice one! So, since the last fish, our son Tere caught one on the nymphing with the streamer, uh, blind, and I got stung by a bee. But, now we've spotted a fish across the fast current, I'm going to try and get it by flicking the dry like this. If that doesn't work, I'm going to catch it with the nymph. Hopefully. So we'll give it a go. <laughs> nope. Sorry, Oli, it's not gonna take a dry, dry fly. Doesn't want the dry. Ah, good casting, but no. They just changed the fly. This looks happy. It's coming. It's coming. You have it. Nice. Right. This 
what it took. Oi, oi. Well done! Amazing! Beautiful big backcountry brown. You know, I tried with the drive but then the it wasn't until it saw the big stone fly that it went nuts. Beautiful. I'm really stoked with that. Stoked. So every time I turn the camera off, Santori catches one on the glonte, which is the big ugly fly. Just stream and nymphing. Third piece of the day. I saw it though, it was pretty cool. Third fish of the day. Santeri's caught another one on the Glonte. Glonte is the fly of the day after your stonefly. Yeah, stonefly and then the Glonte. Okay. There's a fish just there on this inside edge. So I'm going to try again with the dry fly. I don't think it will eat the dry, but I said that last time and it came in at the dry. So. Nope, sorry. So I've added a small pheasant tail because the fish didn't want to eat the dry. Nice cast. Yep. <laughs> that was cool.
not the biggest fish of the day, but it was pretty cool, so I'm pretty happy with that. We'll get it back again. Nice. Alright, so it's been a really good day. We might have been one of the first people to fish up here this season because the fish have been really receptive to a good presentation and not quite as cagey as some of the other rivers we've been fishing. I've uh, had a good, really good time. Uh, make sure if you're enjoying the videos that you like and subscribe uh, to see all my upcoming content and I'll catch you in the next one. I've got a long walk back now uh, downstream. I'm not looking forward to that so much, but it's going to be great to have some dinner. Catch you guys in the next video. Easy access. Thank <laughs> you.